Hello everyone, today there is a new update for rune crafting. You can now go to the Orania altar to craft runes. It's random and it's giving you double experience, but you get random runes. So first of all, you can get there with a lunar teleport. But first you have to talk to Baba Jaga. You need a seal of passage for that. So talk to her and ask her about the lunar spell. Just keep pressing the spacebar till the conversation is over. And once it's over you are able to teleport to there. So we are here on Lunar Isle in the moving house. So just go inside and talk to her for the spell. But first I'm gonna show this for the people who don't have Lunar. So they also need to get there. Teleport to the ground exchange. It's smart to bring like a Dragonhide armor because there are mage, rangers and warriors. But there is also a prayer altar so if you bring Gutex Dragonhide or, or any kind of Dragonhide you are able to pass them all, just protect from ranged and you should be fine. If you do not have the Lunar Spell it's smart to bring like 1k of any kind of ruins but very cheap ruins. So 1k mind ruins is like the best option I guess. Because there is also a bank inside, but you have to pay 20 mind ruins or any kind of ruins to use it. So it's smart to just bring like enough mind ruins to do this. So it's so you can use the spirit tree to get here. Go to the battlefield of Khazar. Once you get here, just run west. As the altar is located here on the map, just near this altar. There is a dungeon to go inside, but it's not marked on the map yet. So just keep going west. So as you can see, it's a prayer altar. So once your prayer points are low, you can go outside the dungeon, just pray at the altar and go back inside. It only takes a couple of seconds, so it's better to just protect from ranged, so you can keep your hit points high. So here is a new dungeon, just climb down the ladder. Here you will find the bank. So first of all talk to her. And let's talk about the payment deals. And now we said we're gonna pay with mind ruins. You can change this if you don't have enough mind ruins in your inventory. So first of all, we are here with Gutex Dragonhide. Just be sure to bring 1k mind ruins. And I also brought the Lao Ruin and Astral Ruins because I gonna use my teleport with my Lunar Spellbook. First of all, I'm gonna do my passage in the bank. And in fact, I don't need my mind ruins right now. But I first gonna show this in this video. So there are two paths. If you follow the shortest path, you will be attacked by rangers, majors, and warriors. So it's smart to use protect from range. Sometimes they won't attack you, sometimes they will. But there is a bank low, so if you are low on health, you just can eat some food from your bank. So once here at the altar. Let's go behind it. You get the double experience as normal, but you can choose what runes you will receive. So if you receive low level runes, you won't get that much rune crafting experience. But there is also a chance you're gonna get higher runes that you normally not even can craft. So we're gonna receive dead runes, low runes, and we are only level 50 rune crafting. So we're gonna receive low and dead runes for sure. Maybe even sometimes even higher. So normally for like an inventory of pure essence I will receive around 200 experience. But I got a lot of other stuff in my inventory right now. And here we received 270. So as you can see we received some lower level ruins like water, earth, body and fire. But also cosmic ruins, chaos ruins nature ruins, even blood ruins and soul ruins, so you can craft them all here. 
you can empty your pouches but you don't have enough inventory spaces to pick them out also we're gonna need to do this in a couple of times now but we almost get like 500 crafting experience from one trip so if you don't have the lunar spell you just have to run back now but it's pretty cool as you can get like any kind of runes here and of course the dead runes, soul runes, blood runes giving a lot of rune crafting experience and here you even receive double experience so here you can train your rune crafting very fast now it's probably now the fastest way to train your rune crafting but you can choose what runes you will receive and maybe your banking ta will take a while longer as you have to bank them all So, picking out new pure essence, fill your bags. So, for the people who are really low combat level and don't be able to pass like the high level combats, it's only 85, but maybe some skillers from level 3, they have to take the other pet here. It's a this pet is a very long, so it's very useful if you can pick. If you can use the other pad but for people who don't have any other chance you just can use this pad but as you can see it's way too long compared with the other pad maybe not that much level 3 skills will come here for your rune crafting but maybe if you are level 20 or 30 it's smarter to use the dangerous pad and maybe just get some monkfish or something in your inventory like one or two spaces because this way is taking way too long and now once you get here if you have to take the long path I will say maybe just use the grunt exchange teleport and use the spirit tree and come back from the battlefield so let's craft them once again 280 experience 150 experience and 41 experience but my medium pouch just broke so that's why I'm getting less pure essence right now but that's not all for the people who have completed the Ardonia medium diary they are able to get more runes from any kind while they are crafting them here you won't get more experience but you just will have more runes from it so that will be maybe useful as well you can just come here even getting more runes than normal the experience will stay the same but you already get double experience so that will not be an issue so for the people who are able to use the lunar teleport let's show these ones you are getting outside the dungeon here so maybe you can just bring the 1k mind runes as well and just go inside the dungeon and use the bank otherwise you have to use a ring of dueling but it's pretty useless as you need to pass here anyway and the cost is only 20 mind runes so again you have to put everything in your bank so you maybe can use auto hotkeys or something to do this faster so just again take out your pure essence fill out your pushes and let's do another trip it's always useful to do rune crafting with stamina potions of course we're gonna now check the value of one inventory we are gonna craft so we got 508 low runes 275 astral runes so let's see So let's price check it. Normally we could get like 3 more pure essence but our medium pouch has been broken. So the value of it is 5.2k. Normally if I will craft astral ruins I will get like less experience than here but I will get like a little bit more money from it anyway 
it's like now well, a really f fast way to train your crafting and even make a decent amount of money. If you have completed the medium diary for Ardonia, you will even reach like maybe 6.5 or 7k. Also it's kinda based on your luck. If, if you have like a lot of death ruins, blood ruins or nature ruins from one trip, you will have like maybe 7k. If you have bad ruins, it will be maybe only 3k. So now it's all based on luck, but it's fast experience, so why not try it? Also there is no chance to get PK'd like the way with the abbeys. You just can't come here, you are making all kind of ruins so it's very useful for Iron Man as they will need any kind of ruins and otherwise they will need to reach a very high rune crafting before they can make any kind of ruins so that will be very useful for the Iron Man. And also how higher your rune crafting level is, how higher your runes will be. So I'm level 50 rune crafting right now but for example if you are level 70 there will a higher chance you will rune craft the higher runes so you will should have more nature runes, death ruins, blood ruins, law ruins so more expensive runes and that should also boost your profit to maybe 7 of 8k normally and with the Ardonia diary done maybe even 10k so that will be a nice amount of money as you can do the trips very fast here with the Lunar spell so probably Runecrafting will be get more popular right now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more guys or any other videos. Thanks for watching.